And hello YouTube, this is GSM, I'm smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for tutorials with GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Audacity and how to use a noise gate to reduce the breathing in your recording, whether it be a commentary for a podcast, a song you're covering, some vocals that you have recorded. Sometimes we always hear this breathing in our tracks that we may not want, we may want to reduce, and there's an easy way to do this. Now you can individually, you know, zoom into your recording here, and obviously uh, in certain parts here we're breathing, such as right here, I, right? And you can easily just highlight and delete, right? But that takes a pretty long time to go through your entire track. You can also uh, use noise reduction to remove it, but once again, that can take a while too. So we're going to be using a plugin called NoiseGate. Now in the description, I will have a link to NoiseGate. It should bring you to this website right here. All you have to do is click the download button right here, and that will download uh, this file here. I'm going to go ahead and go to your file directory here, head to your C drive, go to Program Files 86, and find your Audacity folder. If you are running Dark Audacity, which is the dark version of Audacity, then go ahead and find that folder. But if you're running the or original version, go ahead and go to Audacity here, find the Plugins folder, and all you gotta do is drag this file into your Plugins folder, like so. After that, you wanna restart Audacity. Head to your Effects panel up here, scroll all the way to, the, way to the top. At the very top here, it says Add Remove Plugins. Go ahead and categorize it by go ahead and categorize it by state, and the one that says noise gate should say new. I already have it here though, so here it is. Go ahead and press enable, press OK, and you should have noise gate in your effects down here near the bottom, as I do. So that's how you install the plugin. That's how you download it, and that's how you get it onto your Audacity software here. Now here, here I have a recording of me talking. Like I said, this technique does work on vocals and singing as well. However, it can be kind of hard to use in singing because sometimes you're always singing at different volumes. You can try this method with the noise gate. If not, I do recommend looking at Nectar 2 Breath Control. That is a software you have to pay for. It's a really good software. It gives you a lot of nice tools. It's compatible with Audacity. It has really nice effects that are really professional and they work really well. Nectar 2 Breath Control. You can use that tool for this same technique as well. And it's, it does it a lot better. However, if you want to, if you want to use the free version, we're going to use the noise gate. So I'm going to take a listen to this real quick and then we'll show you what you got to do. And hello YouTube, this is a test recording. I didn't really know what to say, but we do have the brand new tutorial here, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you for watching as always, and this will be the tutorial. So as you can see, uh, we can hear ourselves perfectly fine, but we do have us uh, taking breaths before and after we talk. And if you're singing or if you're on a podcast or a commentary, that can be annoying to the listeners sometimes if it's very loud. And maybe you just don't want to have that. So what you're going to do is highlight everything and change your view. Click the little down arrow right here, the down box, and change it to waveform dB. So basically turn, turn it into this view right here. And here you can very easily tell where the breathing is. Here's some breathing. Here's some breathing. And as you can see, they're pretty big chunks of audio. Here's some breathing. It's very easy to tell. So what your goal here to do is to zoom in and try to figure out at what level is your breathing coming in. So as you can see here, here on the right side, we have the dB values here. You can make this bigger if you'd like. You can uh, bring this down here just by grabbing the end of the track here and bringing it down. That way you can see more values here. And a good thing to do is just to grab the bar at the bottom here and move it to the start of your breathing. So you have a pretty good idea of where it starts here. As you can see here, everything under negative 30 is kind of where the breathing uh, starts. And we're going to need that information for our noise gate. So go ahead and highlight everything. Just double click the low area here or control A. Head up to effects and find the noise gate effect, which is right here. And then noise gate effect, you want to make sure you have these three settings up here. Keep those the same. They should be default. Keep the gate frequency set to zero. And the last three values is what you're going to change. Now, this value right here tells you how much of the noise you want to reduce. The more to the left you push this, uh, the more you're going to reduce the breathing. If you don't want to remove the breathing entirely, 
If you don't want to completely delete it, you may want to go into values such as 12 or negative 15, negative 12, negative 10, uh, negative 13, right on. Anything between negative 10 and negative 15 is the value you want to select here. Anything higher than that will most likely completely delete the breathing. Uh, sometimes you may want to have the breathing in there, but very low because it is natural. So you can do that by you know putting a lesser value such as negative 10, 12, or 15. I'm using negative 30 though because I want to completely remove the uh, breathing so I can show you sort of how it works. Then for the gate threshold here, here's where we're going to type our value. And we saw that everything uh, under negative 30 was part of breathing. So we're going to type in negative 30 here. So that basically is saying that the gate will close when it goes above this value. The gate will open and delete everything underneath this value. So if you take a look at my cursor here, here I'm circling above 30, above negative 30. It will keep everything that goes above negative 30. Everything under negative 30, which is breathing here, it will delete. When you're doing this, be aware that you are deleting everything under negative 30. So if there's a part in your recording where you're whispering or you're talking very low on purpose, uh, you may want to do that separately. You may want to not highlight that because it's going to be under negative 30 and you're going to delete it. Just be aware about that. But if you don't have that situation in your recording, then you should be okay. So once we have that negative 30, then we have attack and delay. Now attack and delay will be how long the gate will be open. So for example, say we're over here in the timeline and the gate opens. So everything underneath negative 30 now gets deleted. How long will it take for the gate to open when it gets to here? Uh, 0.50 milliseconds. You can typically pick anything between 50 and 250 depending on the type of recording. If you have longer pauses in between your sentences and when you're breathing, you can bump it to 250 or 200. Uh, generally speaking, the higher this value is, the more accurate this function will work. Uh, however, as you see, I don't have much space in between my sentences. As you can see, I tend to talk a little faster, so I need to have a uh, quicker gate here. So for me, I have 50 milliseconds. Uh, if you talk a little slower, you can probably put this up to 100, 200 or so, and you should be okay. So those are all the options here. Your attack and delay is how fast you want the gate to open or close. Your uh, threshold is at what level you want to open the gate or close it, which which is why we have this waveform dB value here. And then your and this option right here allows you to tell the uh, function how much you want to reduce it by. Now, once we pressed OK, you can see that I took some of the breathing out right here. We do still have some of the breathing here, which means that it's going just a little bit above 30. So let's go and try it again. And maybe let's try a higher value, uh, such as negative 25 or negative 20. That should make a difference. So let's change this to negative 25, perhaps. And as you can see, that took away the extra breathing. Now, if we take a listen to this. And hello, YouTube. This is a test recording. I didn't really know what to say but we do have the brand new tutorial here, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you for watching as always, and this will be the tutorial. As you can see, a huge difference. This is before. And hello YouTube, this is a test recording. And this is after. And hello YouTube, this is a test recording. I didn't really know what. Sounds much more cleaner. Like I said, if you wanted to actually only decrease the breathing so it doesn't sound like you completely deleted it you can always change the uh, level here from negative 30 to say something like negative 15 perhaps or negative 12 even and as you can see that decreases the breathing here and low youtube this is a test recording i didn't really know what to say but we do it's still there but you can just barely hear it now which is better than hearing it full blast like we did here hey but and that's pretty much the tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful and useful. If you liked the video, go and give it a like. Any questions or comments, leave a comment in the comment box down below. I'll be down there answering any questions you have. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Lots of other software tutorials on the channel. Lots of Audacity tutorials, video editing tutorials, audio editing tutorials, image editing tutorials, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Windows Movie Maker, all kinds of cool software tutorials on the channel. If you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe. I also have a Patreon page. If you want to donate a dollar, you can do so. Anything as low as that is very helpful, very much appreciated. Click the card in the top right hand corner of the screen, and it'll bring you to the page. And I also have a vlogging channel, music channel, advice channel, and a gaming channel. Want to check those out? Links in the description as well as on the end card. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always in this GSM Smart. I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.